I'm gonna show you where to get Shabriri's Woe. This talisman will constantly attract enemies, attract enemies aggression. And you might be wondering why in the world would you want that to be a thing? Well, the reason you would want that to be a thing is because you can put it on yourself and then summon a mimic and then open up your inventory and take it off and then your mimic has it and not you and your mimic will do a better job of holding boss aggro by a lot. It's actually really OP for that purpose. So in order to get Shabriri as well, you're gonna have to go to the Village of Madness. It's called Frenzied Flame Village. There's two ways to get here. There's the way you're supposed to get here and then there's a kind of cheat way you can get here. The way you're supposed to get here is from right before you get to the Grand Lift of Dectus. You can just come up right here and try to get through without getting destroyed by madness from the Madness Tower thing. And then you can get to the Frenzied Flame, Frenzied Flame Village. The other way is a little bit of parkour you can do down here, which is a lot better if you can land the parkour. I'll show you the parkour, because the other way is pretty straightforward other than the tower. The tower, you have to LOS the Teletrine's line of sight the tower whenever the madness thing appears, or else it'll cause madness and then do damage to you. So, from... Is this even the right one? Yeah, from this, you're going to head to the north. This is the um, mausoleum compound right here on the map, okay? You're going to head to the north, and then you're going to head over to the east. Now, this is for the parkour spot where you can kind of skip. And again, if you're good at parkour, you'll definitely want to do, go, do it this way if you've never been there. Just because you can avoid the Tower of Madness on your way in makes it a hell of a lot easier to get to the Frenzy Flame Village. So the parkour in question is right here. There's a boss nearby that I've killed on this save file. He might randomly aggro while doing this, which is super annoying. So there's this rock and you're going to jump, double jump up to here and then normal jump to here and then kind of walk like this and then get for the go for the turnaround. Now you're all clear. Now you want to sprint jump and double jump to this and now you're good. Unless you slip at this point, which would suck. And now you're up. That's the parkour way to do it that I really like to do. I like doing it that way. That was a fun way. That's parkour is fun in this game. So you're going to head to the north, and then there was... I thought there was a grace around here, but I guess not. Well, anyway, you're going to come into this village, and you're going to run all the way to the west, and it'll be the last building. Now, I've already grabbed it, but it's, when you see all these soldiers, you'll know you're in the right spot. It will be right here on this dead guy, right by all these soldiers. So, um, yeah, when you get to this part of the town, you'll know you'll, you're in the right spot with all these guys. Everyone where this final destination is on the map, the exact spot is going to be this obvious house on the map right here. That is the actual house that we're looking at right there. And that's how to get Shabriri's Woe. Once you put it on, you'll basically, it's basically just a taunt talisman. That's all it really does. And uh, I can't really show you here without summon, but the idea is that Whatever person has it on will hold aggro from enemies uh, better. So whenever you're fighting a boss, just be sure to put it on, then summon the mimic, and then try to get some distance from the boss so the boss doesn't kill you. Go in, take it off real fast, and then uh, the summon will hold aggro so that you don't have to get attacked. It only works for the mimic tier, but it's a really, really useful thing to combo with the mimic tier. So that is Shabriri's Woe. That is how to get that in Elden Ring.